my channel and welcome to my channel this is the first time you are uh, watching me so i do readings i give readings for your general energies for the day and love energies i give daily readings so if you guys want a uh, daily guidance you can follow up my channel for daily guidance or daily messages uh from the spirit guides and angels for you and for your person okay so today is going to be a little bit different i'm going to do a pick a card reading for how your person feels about you what are their messages towards you okay we have three cards here you can pick one from these three cards but just before i start the reading pick a card reading I just wanted to tell you all that I have an Fiverr account. If you guys want a personal reading, especially for those of you who've been requesting me for a personal reading for a long time, uh, yes, guys, please feel free to book a reading with me on Fiverr. You can go check the link of my Fiverr account in the description box. All the details will be there in the description. You can check that out. So let me just. Uh, start off with the pile number one for you for those of you who choose the pile number one what is coming up pile number one or card number one we have the responsibility so this person feels you are a responsibility to them maybe i can see here that this person is very much attached to you that they are feeling you are a responsibility like if you come to them if you are together with this person they feel like maintaining you uh talking to you or having a relationship with you is just a big responsibility so they also feel like if you're uh, with someone who is lazy they may be avoiding you or they might not contact you because they feel you are such a responsibility to them okay they feel like they need to be responsible to kind of like manage you in the life right so this can also be one of the reasons why this person is not being totally honest or why they're not uh, planning to come towards you or why they are behaving the way they are behaving because they see you as a very big responsibility that they cannot manage still okay so that is the major energy that i can see for you guys here with these cards anyways guys uh, let me move on to your other cards let me pick out the other cards to move on to the other energies that is popping up in your reading yes i will be also taking message cards uh, what does this person feel about you for the pile number one or the card number one how does this person feel about you guys okay so we have you are honest with me that is beautiful we have you love me they love your honesty they know that you love them too much your love is kind of scaring them too you sound sexy over the phone so if you uh, speak uh, over the phone to this person this person feels like oh my god this person is just too much for me to handle they're so sexy okay you never let me feel lonely i mean you're always so clingy bothering this person all the time or you're calling them texting them doing what you should i can see here that you never leave this person to be alone and that is a very beautiful energy because they feel attached to you they feel the love they feel that attachment to you and which is making them love you more okay so that is the energy i can get out of your reading today my beautiful beautiful uh soul sisters who shows the pile number one this is how the person feels and this is the message this person has for you guys. Now I'll be moving on to the pile number two. For the pile number two or the card number two. We have freedom, releasing your self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So this person loves the way you are free, that you are very, very comfortable in the situation that you are with them. They really love that um, 
way that they can be free with you they feel freedom and uh, with you okay maybe this person before in the life they are not so free they didn't enjoy the freedom much but with you they just feel so free they just feel like everything is going perfectly all right this person's very very happy with how things are turning out for them especially when it comes to that uh, comfortable free energy with you they feel totally free they feel like they can do whatever they want with you and they don't feel like they need to restrict themselves or put boundaries i hope you understand let us also find out how actually this person uh, wants to tell you what they feel about you definitely can get a twin flame soulmate energy here okay so let me start off with the two cards you pamper me like your baby that is beautiful you are my best friend you are funny they love the way you crack jokes you can read my mind wow because this person as i told earlier they can be a twin flame or soulmate just feels like a, a very personal soul connection you are very cute and adorable they like the way you treat them they like the way you react to certain things you bring peace to me so this person also like the way you are very very peaceful very loving caring I mean, you would do anything to be with this person and they love that about you guys, okay? At the same time, you bring peace to me is also relating to the freedom energy that this person is getting from you, especially when you are with them. You just feel free. You are my best friend. Also means like this person is willing to talk to you about anything and without you, they miss all these aspects and that is the reason why they want to bring that out right now so if you are communicating with this person they really miss you and i can see here that this person is very feeling emotionally physically spiritually connected to you especially if this is a twin flame or a soulmate connection so i'll now move on to the pile number three thank you guys if you want more clarity make sure to contact me on my favorite account where i'll be giving you a detailed reading card number three or pile number three what is coming up elevation this is also a beautiful energy my beauties you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love so whoever chose this your relationship is definitely a twin flame or a soulmate connection and i can see here that this relationship is taking that next level they want to have that next level with you so for example if you are in a girlfriend boyfriend relationship they want to make a proposal and make you the wife like if you have started yet for example if you are just friends with this person and you think you have a crush on this person maybe they are starting to develop feelings for you and they are planning to take this relationship to the next level by proposing to you like asking you to be their girlfriend okay for those of you who are already in that girlfriend state stage this person might ask you to move in with them or something that they might uh, want to elevate the relationship that you already have so uh guys i can also see that for those of you who got this card and you're not together with this person anymore this person might step in your life all of a sudden and might ask you to be their girlfriend or ask you to be their wife or maybe it can be a grand proposal and for the others of you who have no contact from this person i can see that uh, this can also mean that this person is spiritually elevating from one step to another in a sense they know what a karmic cycle is and they are trying to get rid of a karmic cycle to come towards you that can also be the reason why we've got this card here now i will be picking out some i mean i will be reading out some messages this person has for you guys you trust me you always give me a shoulder to cry on like this um feels like you were there for this person during the tough times which is definitely making them uh try something more with you which is making them um have something some kind of a special bond with you because you are there during that tough times when nobody was with them that is a beautiful energy you make me feel secure you look deep into my eyes and the last card 
you and I have so much in common. So this makes me uh, this makes me get a lot of goosebumps. Seriously, guys, because I can see here that if you got these cards, this might be a relationship that was from a different lifetime. It might be a relationship like you had a lifetime with this person in a sense. It can be like this person and you shared many lifetimes together because I'm, I'm getting a lot of twin flame soulmate energy here. You've already met this person in your past lifetimes. That is the main reason it feels so special, especially to be with this person. Okay. And yes, guys, thank you all so much for joining me here. And now the daily and uh, reading will continue. If you have any kind of questions, especially about this past life connection that you're having with this person or anything, feel free to contact me on Fiverr and I'll give you a reading there. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for joining me here. Uh, there was a cyclone going on yesterday, so I'm, I'm not feeling so well. I see you guys tomorrow or in the general reading. Bye, guys. beautiful leos what is coming up for your love energies leos wow so today you're going to be very very prideful and i can say here that the luck is on your side you are going to win whatever you go into you're taking a very big decision today you are even like gambling and i can see here because of your pride you will be not able to win if you're too prideful with what you're doing so try to kind of like reduce that prideful energy that you're having today okay and uh, let me take cards for your love energies leos what is spoiling what is spoiling this relationship that you have so i can see how that the connection that you have is very very deep but you know it's not wide your narrow-mindedness or like you're being very narrow-minded uh leos that can be the reason why your relationship is not a success you're being very very narrow-minded you're not um you're not like excited to be in this connection or you're not excited to manifest what you should okay and your narrow-mindedness can eventually destroy the relationship that you're having so please make sure that you're not narrow-minded that you're very kind loving and nurturing to the people around you and yes guys that is the energy that i can get for you guys with these cards so thank you all so much for joining me here Or maybe this person is very broad-minded or this person is very narrow-minded and you're broad-minded. Maybe the difference between you both is destroying this connection because they see you as someone who is very, very innocent. But now they don't see that innocence in you because you've changed. So they don't like that changed version of you, Leos. And maybe that is the main reason they're no longer staying interested in you, Leos. So thank you all so much for joining me here, guys. I will see you all tomorrow my beautiful leos bye